Hello guys, this video is about the appearance, phenotype and GD match results. So basically a full analysis of autosomal DNA of an Iranian hunter-gatherer. Now Iranian hunter-gatherers predate, precede the Iranian Neolithic farmers and Iranian Neolithic farmers actually descend from Iranian hunter-gatherers such as this individual right here. This is what he is predicted to look like with Mayna Shakot. Mayna Shakot predicts him to have brown eyes, snub-shaped nose and black hair. Um, the y -Sec prediction, don't really pay attention to it. He wasn't genotyped for most of the important variations for y -Sec. Uh, And y -Sec is not capable of imputing genotypes, so that's why they kind of suck. Uh, but with Snipper Free, he's predicted to have brown eyes and uh, black hair. Uh, the skin color prediction for Snipper Free, it, I'm not going to post it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because he probably had dark skin indeed because of his genotype in Keto G tier 1. Um, he did have BH1, no BH2, no BH3, no BH4. So uh, with 23andMe, if he took a 23andMe, 23andMe would say he had very dark colored eyes. He had A2, A2 genotype in the TAC1 region of tier D2. So uh, he had lower risk of Parkinson's and ADHD. And it's a very typically human genotype too. Um, and he actually had this very interesting genotype that reduces the risk of male pattern baldness and he had this genus set which allows him to take taste bitterness now from this you can infer that some people do not have this ability which is kind of interesting uh, moving on to polygenic traits he had a very low risk score for Crohn's disease uh, he had a pretty average risk score for coronary heart disease um, he had a pretty average risk score for bipolar disorder uh, a pretty low risk score for type 2 diabetes a pretty low, very low risk score for Parkinson's disease and a very low risk score for schizophrenia. This is what he scores with Eurogene's K13. Now here we can clearly see that besides the obvious West Asian that he's scoring, he's actually got some South Asian affinities. He's scoring 25% uh, South Asian here and because of that he's closest to Brahwi, Baloch, Makrani, pretty much all these people who have a peak of Iranian hunter-gatherer or Iranian Neolithic ancestry. This is who he is closest to with the official G25 for, for the sample. Also closest to Baloch, Makrani and Brahwi, kind of similar to what we've seen with Eurogenes K13 and the other calculators too. And with Eurogenes K36, he's scoring mostly South Central Asian, but there is also Armenian, West Caucasian and North Caucasian too, and Arabian too, uh, which is kind of a typical result. What's interesting, uh, interesting data about this sample is that Caucasus hunter-gatherers tend to score mostly North Caucasian here, whereas Iranian Neolithic farmers and Iranian hunter-gatherers mostly South Central Asian. Just an interesting thing to notice. And this is his result with Harappa World. Here he's scoring mostly Baloch, but also some Caucasian too, but uh, interestingly also some South Indian and Southwest Asian as well. And he's got a little bit of African too, which is kind of an archaic component, I think. Uh, with the Oracle here, he's once again closest to Makrani and Baloch people. And this is what he scores with Pond DNA LK10. CHG here scores 95% CHG. So he's scoring a lot of the CHG component, but also a lot of other stuff, such as uh, South Asian. And with the Oracle here, he's closest to Makarani and Baloch. Once again, this is a repeat of what we've seen with G25. And this is what he scores with Pond DNA LK12. Now here he's scoring mostly CHG, mostly Caucasus HG, but on top of that, he's also scoring Near East, South Asian, and Amerindian, which are big, uh, big contributions to his genetics, right? So relative to the CHG, relative to the Caucasus hunter gatherers, he is more South Asian. And um, when it comes to the Oracle, the Oracle is saying that he's closest to Kotya, Skide, and Sansurblia, but that's only because in this calculator there is no reference for Anatolian Neolithic or Anatolian hunter-gatherers. If they did have such a reference, he would be closer to them, obviously. This is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6, mostly Ancestral North Eurasian, which is also typical for Caucasus. Uh, what's different from Caucasus is that Caucasus has more Natufian and less Ancestral South Eurasian, much less of that category. And with the Oracle here, because of the high Ancestral South Eurasian, he's scoring CHG plus Gujarati or CHG plus Punjabi. So some kind of a mixture of CHG plus uh, South Asian. And with Gidrosia K3, uh, this is what he scores, mostly West Eurasian, but there is that uh, East Eurasian admixture too, which is probably due to the AASI and Ancestral North Eurasian admixture in his case. Thanks for watching until the end, guys. You can download this sample in 23 and Me format from link which is in the description. And leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Peace out.